We're back at our favorite bar. I love it. We have got quite a lot of, well, Scott's got quite a lot of beverages. I've got no shock horror, a, sorry, I've got something in my eye, actually. A moment of that. I have got a Centara Sunset with a shot of vodka. And Scott has already annihilated his strawberry milkshake, which was very nice. I did try it as well. And he's also got a tiger beer. Is that just normal iced coffee? It's sugar syrup. Oh, I didn't ask What did you ask? An iced coffee? Iced coffee. Yeah. Is it sweet enough or what? Normally Scott's been saying, can he have an iced coffee with sugar syrup on the side so that he can control how much sweetness is in it? Is that alright? Yeah? He tried some of my iced cappuccino earlier and he found it very, very strong. Well, it's, it's, it was strong for me as well, but... He's been sticking with the iced lattes. Oh, dear. It's three o'clock now. We've ordered some snacks. It is, in our opinion, worth getting the package where... Um, oh yeah, I was going to this. Yeah worth getting the grand all-inclusive all package because you get to have choice of the snack menu at the coral bar and the and reef restaurant and you get more food options at, oh yeah you get more food options and more drink options included in your package so for us it's really worth it and the last thing you want is well not the last thing you want obviously everyone has to do what they can afford and what suits them but Sometimes when you're on holiday, you'll be like, oh, I'll have that. And then, and obviously they bill you for it, or they say that has to be billed. And you go, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then you come to the end of your holiday and you might have a bit of a, a bill to pay that you weren't expecting. So for us, well, Scott, he just decided, you know, he's just gonna pay for it all. And that way there's no sort of hidden, not hidden, but no costly surprises. I mean, there will be at the at end. The end. Yeah, there'll be a few because um, of the tips, trip tips trip. and the shop. So they don't take cash. Well, you can give people cash in hand if you're giving them a tip. But like we had a massage and they don't let you tip off the card. They say you write it on your little receipt and then at the end of your stay, they add it onto your final bill and you pay it all together. And in the shop, if you don't pay, they credit it to the room, you pay it at the end. So. There will still be a bill, but it won't be half as high as what it would have been if we didn't get the bar snacks included in our package because we haven't gone into the Reef restaurant for lunch once. We've not gone in there for lunch once, have we? No. So I don't even know. I'm, I can't even tell you what the lunch is like in there. Maybe I'll go in there and show you tomorrow. Because breakfast is so big. Yeah, because breakfast is great. Um, and I did really enjoy our breakfast at the club this morning as well. But we sort of aren't hungry in the times, or we've been out doing things, haven't we? Yeah. At the times that the Reef restaurant is open for lunch. So being able to have the option of that hour later snack menu at the Coral Bar, it's just, it's, it's really suited us. And yeah, this time we've, we've gone all out because we had breakfast early and then tonight we've got 8.30 reservations at the Italian again, which I'm very excited about. I will show you what our food is like when it arrives. Wings, club sandwich, and a burger. We finished our food, we're about to play tennis. We're playing doubles. Let's see how it goes. Right, we've played some tennis, now we're just doing a little bit of sunset uh, volleyball. But I've been kicked out because it wasn't very good. <laughs> Yeah. 
he's wanting to do. Oh, yeah. Actually. Oh, okay. And I said much better. Yeah. <laughs> he's beast. Oh, okay. <laughs> back at the coral bar and Scott's had three mocktails already because they're just making up things and giving them to him to try and this one is cranberry um passion fruit uh, it was it passion fruit with well, sprite yeah. i don't know but this is the best. this is our favorite so far yeah. <laughs> it's very nice right i want to save that one i don't want to drink it oh sorry savoring that one anyway we're just waiting because we are going up Boat sunset fishing today, and it's, activity, it's our last activity. We are going to have to take towel. No, not yet. I haven't spoken to them today. Sorry, guys, I haven't vlogged today because it's our last day, and I just wanted to be really present. But what did we do today? We woke Come up on. and we <laughs> we had morning pilates, which was epic. a really good workout. Then we had breakfast and we did some got hair on my leg, which is not ideal. We did the fun toy, it's called, and to be honest, I thought it was going to be a bit naff. Oh my god, it was so fun. It goes really fast, and you are all over the shoulder those way. So it's like an inflatable chair, effectively, that you sit in, and speedboat takes you out, and you drive around. Focus is focusing on people with both hands for me. Um, and they managed to flip us as well. You put your thumb up if you want to go faster, down for slower, and okay for just it is what it is. But it was literally like this the whole way. If you do the front toy, take goggles, not like your snorkel ones. Well, unless you're all right, room three map. I had normal ones, and it made such a difference because I obviously the water wasn't going away in my eyes because it smashes up a lot. But Scott was struggling, he didn't have me, and especially with his contact lenses, he was like, oh, my eyes. But it was really good. You were scared. You're joking. Don't, don't I'm going to insert a clip. And you guys can see and hear for yourself. Yes, I can. Oh, calm down. The fact that he doesn't want to send me the footage speaks for itself, so I think I've just proved my point. Okay, so after we did that, we did some more paddleboarding, which was great. I actually really liked the paddleboarding. Then we did some swimming in the sea at another part of the island and swung swung on these big swings that they have in the water there. Oh, we went snorkeling. We went back to the room for a bit. Yeah, that's what we saw. Jesus. And then we went snorkeling on the reef. We finally saw the turtle for ourselves and it was so good. And I swam with like a 45 foot black tip shark, which was epic. So yeah, we've had a really good last day. Um, then we went back to the room and because we did that typical British thing of getting as much done as possible, we are slightly pink. So um, I spent about an hour and a half out of the sun in, in the room back in so that I didn't have to think about it tonight as we leave at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning. So yeah, I will keep you updated on what the fishing trip is like. 